Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of 3 Max. Today's episode will be, hopefully be a little quicker today. Uh, we're going to be going over how to get help in Emacs using the info mode. Um, just a quick reminder before we get started, if you're enjoying the content, please uh, consider giving the thumbs up and subscribing. And if you have any ideas of content that you'd like to see, I'd really appreciate uh, any comments on, on what you'd like to see. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in one of my earlier videos, I recommended checking out the Emacs tutorial if you're just getting started with Emacs. And honestly, even if you've been using Emacs for a long time, there's a lot of great stuff in here that you might not have learned. So I strongly encourage you to check this out when you get a chance. Um, so you just go over here and hit enter. And um, I'm in the middle of the tutorial. It'll start you out at the top if you're if you're doing this. But one of the um, topics that it recommends is to read the manuals, which is a great thing to do whenever you're using any new piece of software is to get familiar with the the manual. So for that, we can type chi from anywhere, and it should open up the directory node of all of the info that we that we have for Emacs. Um, and there's a lot of different manuals here. Uh, I'll just show you a few of them. But when you're here, if you type the H, it should take you to this help screen uh, showing you how to use info, which is sort of how to read manuals in Emacs. And this is what I'm going to be going over today. OK, so now that we're uh, here in the info mode tutorial, we can see that the major mode is set to info. We could also see that with the control H V describe the variable major mode. Hit enter, and we'll see that uh, the major mode has been set to info mode. Um, but yeah, so if you're new to info mode, there's a few things here. Up at the top, we've got the tutorial that we're using here, which is info at the top level. And we're at the getting started and help node. So that's the header, which is typically visible from any page uh, in the help node. And I'm not going to read all of the text here, but it will be a little bit redundant with some of the text. So we can type N to go to the next node, type P to go to the previous node, um, I'll type N twice, and learn about the space, delete, and uh, B commands. So space will move you forward in the page, backspace will move you backwards in the page, and space again to go forward, B will move you to the beginning of the page, and both backspace and forward can move across pages. So backspace will move me to the previous page, and space will move me to the next page. Another common element that you might see in manuals are menus. So to interact with menus, we can type the tab character to cycle forward through the menu, and shift tab to cycle backwards through the menu. And once you're highlighting the the menu that you want to go into, you can hit enter. Now all of these menus go to the same node uh, to tell you more about the right brace and left brace commands, but that's how you interact with the uh, menus. Okay, two more helpful keys are the L key, which takes you backwards in uh, the history. So if you push L a few times, it should take you backwards in the manual that you've been reading. And R takes you forward in your viewing history. So R to move forward. Um, and then lastly, if you push the question mark command, it gives you a little bit of details about all of what I've gone over today and, and more. So there's a lot of more detailed key commands here, and you can push space to get to the bottom of it and just hit space one more time to get back to the help, uh, to the info page that you've been reading. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this video gives you enough confidence to open up one of these potentially scary manuals and uh, you can go and read it yourself. If you have any ideas or suggestions for content, please leave a comment below um, and I'll be happy to look into making some videos about that. So thanks again and see you next time.